Should you be selling dog training packages or dog training programs? And what's the difference? Knowing the difference can make a huge, huge difference in your success with your dog training business. Stick with me. Selling dog training packages is basically the same as selling individual lessons. You're just packaging those individual lessons together for a better price for the prospective dog training client. So basically, if you're selling an individual lesson for, let's say, $60, uh, and you were selling a package of dog training lessons, of a package of three, that would be $180, and so maybe you discount it to $150. That's great. It's a perfectly fine approach. If you're just looking to make beer money or a little extra weekend pizza money, uh, in addition to whatever you're doing as a full-time career. However, selling dog training packages is no way to earn a respectable living as a professional dog trainer, as a full-time professional dog trainer. Because in the client's mind, and probably in your, your mind too, there's an upper limit as to what you can charge. I mean, you really can't say, give me 200 or 300 bucks per lesson because people are like, God, I don't even pay my doctor that much or my dentist that much. How, how do you how do you get away with charging 300 bucks per hour? But but if you sell a dog training program that guarantees they're going to learn how to teach their dog X, Y, Z different behaviors, then they're paying to learn how to train those behaviors. They're not paying you for a specific number of sessions. Now, with a program, you can kind of estimate how many lessons it typically takes. That's fine. Um, but the other benefit is that you're able to add a lot of perceived value that doesn't necessarily cost you more hours. So it might be, for example, for a thousand bucks, you're giving them three private lessons and then they also get access, maybe unlimited access to your group classes. Well, you're there anyways for the group classes. It doesn't cost you any additional money if you have 10 people in your group class or 11 people in your group class, right? It's the same hour for you, but there's huge perceived value to the client when they're buying a program that includes whatever your program includes. So you're able to get, you know, three, 400 bucks per hour, whereas you can never do that selling a package of individual dog training lessons. So move away from selling the packages and move towards selling dog training programs where you're basically selling them the results or teaching them how to train their dog certain behaviors and you're guaranteeing that they're going to learn how to successfully teach their dog those behaviors. Wait, wait, wait. Before I go, I can already anticipate all the blowback I'm going to get from this. The first question that I'm sure is going to come up with, well, what the heck can you teach the dog in three lessons? Well, let me go over it. What we would do when I had my last dog training business, the first lesson would be covering the psychology of how the dog's mind works uh, and how to communicate with the dog. And then we get into teaching the owner how to teach the dog to walk on a loose leash. And then we do the place command. And then we teach the dog not to run at the front door. That was just in the first lesson, typically take about an hour. Then they'd go home and they'd practice for a week. They'd actually implement the techniques and come back with questions for their second lesson. The second lesson, we would cover boundary, perimeter, and property training by teaching the dog not to run into the street, which would also teach the dog the release command and then the, or the take a break command. And, and then we'd start with teaching the dog to sit and the sit stay. And possibly if we had enough time, the, the down position as well. And then they go home and they practice that for a week. So now they've had two weeks of practice. The third lesson, they come back and we would do uh, the come command, teach them how to use the long line or how to use a remote caller if we hadn't already in the first and second session um, and teach them that and then kind of transition into anything else that was any lingering problems. Now, usually in the first lesson, we teach them how to administer a correction to stop any unwanted behavior like jumping up or, or uh, barking or, uh, you know, any nipping, any problem behaviors. So that would already kind of be covered. And so in the third lesson, after teaching them how to use the long line or the remote caller, we would teach them, we would kind of go over how to fix those behavior problems. And then we graduate them to our unlimited group classes. And initially we were doing it uh, uh, unlimited group classes once a week for the life of the dog. I think later towards the end, we shortened it to just one year after the private lessons uh, finished. Now, occasionally there would be people who would need more than three lessons. You know, they, they 
it was just obvious they were struggling. And so we'd have to spend an extra hour with them. Not a big deal when you're getting paid what you're worth. So it, it, it all kind of, it all kind of comes together because the majority of people, more than 90% were more than happy with the three lessons. I gave them more than enough to start fixing and working on their problems and then graduate them to the group classes where they could continue to, you know, get better and better under our supervision. But again, it didn't really cost me that much more money other than just having more people in the group class. Now, if I was running a dog training business today, I'd probably throw in even more stuff that doesn't really cost me any additional money, but is great to bulk up the perceived value of your dog training program. Stuff like access to our members only Facebook group just for local dog training clients. Uh, also, pet and pet behavior insurance so that they know that you know anytime for the rest of the dog's life if they have an issue they can get continued phone support or email support or wh whatever you feel comfortable doing to bulk up the value of that program can't do that with dog training packages packages you're really just selling your time so again move towards the dog training programs move away from selling dog training packages at least for the majority of your clients, the people that are coming to you with behavior issues, because you're going to be able to make so much more money. And also because they're paying you more money, you're going to be able to do a much better job of servicing them, of attending to their needs. Because look, if they're paying you a, a hugely greater amount of money, you can afford to spend more time with them if you need to. Those are my thoughts. Hey, if you have a dog training business and you want to get it to the next level, if you're tired of lying in bed at night wondering, how do I make more money with this dog training business? I found that Google AdWords is one of the best ways to get a consistent stream of high quality clients, desperate dog owners with money in hand, looking for the type of service that you have to offer. The problem with Google AdWords is that it's insanely complicated. The strategies to stay on top are always changing. And if you don't know what you're doing, you can blow through a lot of money very, very quickly. What we do with my company, Burning Direct, is we offer a 100% done for you Google AdWords management experience. We take care of everything from running and optimizing the ad campaigns to making sure that you're getting the results that you need to setting the traffic and setting up a dedicated landing page with copy that's a persuasive text on the landing page. It's already been A-B tested. We use five different call tracking numbers so you know that every penny that you spend on your advertising, you know exactly what the return on investment is. Works really, really well in most cases and in most markets. If this sounds interesting to you, if you'd like to take your dog training business to the next level, maybe bring on an employee or two, maybe take a vacation, maybe buy your husband or wife that sports car they've always been dreaming about. Check out dogtrainertoolbox.com. And in the upper left-hand corner, you'll see a box that says Expert Google AdWords Management for Dog Trainers Only. Click on that box, read through that page if it makes sense. There is a link to my calendar app at the bottom. You can book a free 30-minute phone conversation with me so that we can get on the phone and find out if what we're doing with Google AdWords would be a good fit for you and your dog training business. Take care, guys.